So many a times in the USMLE step one um, and step two, um, we have this uh, diabolical diagram whereby they put disease population, disease population here, and then the healthy population, and they want us to know what happens if the cutoff is shifted from A to B or from B to C or uh, what happens. So um, I want to put this in a very um, good perspective whereby uh, I'll summarize everything and also make it very simple to understand. So please um, just let's go to the board. Um, so what I do is that um, I draw this line like this and I draw this so you just learn how to draw this by yourself so after drawing this i will put the cut off over here in the middle just as we have in the in the book now um i will go ahead and label and label it so here um i'll put the healthy patients here healthy and here will be the disease patients disease patients so healthy means that the disease is absent and here means the disease is um is, is present so now the next thing is to label and we know that from this line if i bring it down here everything from here means that they are positive meaning that they are positive for the disease and anything from this side going they are negative for the disease that's why they are healthy they're negative for um, the disease or they're negative for the test now the next thing is to label so the labeling is very important so if you learn if you know how to label it you can always get every question correct on this so first uh, let's label here um, here will be true positive because they are truly positive for the disease and everything here is positive so here will be false positive as well like this and um, this side will be the true negative here and here will be false negative because everything here is negative. Um, so the next thing is to label here as the specificity, this area, and put positive predictive value here. And here you put sensitivity and put negative predictive value value here so that when you write sensitivity it ends with n therefore negative predictive value follows if you write specificity it ends with p so positive predictive value should be at, on this side now let's see what happens if the cutoff is moved so the cutoff usually they label here a b and c where a will be um 100 percent sensitivity cutoff and because the sensitivity is here, so it will end here at A. And C would be our 100% um, specificity cut off. And B would be the practical compromise between the two, sensitivity and specificity. Now let's see what happens when we shift our curve from example. Let's say we are shifting our curve from A to B. If I shift my curve, sorry, if I shift my curve from B to A, what will happen? If I shift my curve from B to A, it means that the line, this line here, which is the cutoff, will now come to this place. That's when they say the cutoff has been moved from B to A. So the line comes here. So if the line comes here, everything towards this side will shrink. Everything towards this side will shrink everything on this side would increase so if i move the cutoff from from b to a it will mean that everything your specificity specificity would because we are shrinking it so will shrink it will decrease positive predictive value positive predictive value will decrease Sorry, um, I didn't show this. So if I move the curve from B to A, specificity will decrease, positive predictive value will decrease. If they ask about true negative rate, will also decrease. True negative will decrease. False negative rate will decrease. Will decrease. But let's see what would increase. 
anything at this side of the graph would increase because we've shifted the thing to this side so what will increase would be true positive rate would increase this would decrease true positive rate would increase sensitivity would increase negative predictive value would also increase right and also false positive rate will also increase so it's, it's this simple so when the curve moves from here to here anything towards this side is being shrunken anything towards this side will increase now let's look at if the curve is moving from b i mean if the cutoff is moving from b to c if the cutoff is moving from b to c what would happen it means that top from b to c anything towards this side is shrinking anything towards this side is increasing so let's see what will happen from b to c we'll, so it means our our cutoff will come to this line so this side has shrunken therefore true positive rate will decrease sensitivity will decrease negative predictive value will decrease like that and also our false positive rate will decrease and that should make sense now let's see the things that would increase all the things on this side would increase therefore we have negative I mean the false negative false negative would increase specificity would increase positive predictive value would increase and true negative rate would increase so this is the simple way to understand it so what you want to do is to learn to draw the graph by yourself and know that they always put the healthy on the left and disease on the other side but it can be changed but so far i have not seen any question that has changed it but it can be changed if it changes know just know how to draw this and how to label it practice how to label it and it will stick in your mind and you can always pull it up when you meet a question if you learn how to draw it over and over again you, you can draw it within within like under 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 30 seconds and then you get your question correct so this is how to go about it thanks for watching this video as usual our channel is committed to helping any average student to be able to uh, pass the USMLE step with the fastest, smartest way of um, studying and memorizing information. Thanks. Please subscribe to our channel. Share this video with your friends to make it easier for them as well so that you'll be a blessing to them. Good luck in your studies. Bye-bye.